Welcome to the Director's Children's Storytime and Craft Activity. Today I'm going to be starting out by reading A Railway ABC by Jack Townen. I'm Paul Hammond, the director here, and that's why it's the Director's Storytime and Craft. So, back to our story. The Railway ABC. Do you know your ABCs? A is for all clear as the signal goes down. B is for the buffers which sit there and frown. Buffers are the bumpers between cars. C is for the coaches in which we all ride. D is for the driver, the engine's his pride. A driver can be the wheel, or it can be, in British terms, the gentleman who's running the train. E is an engine, spick and span. F is for the fireman, whose name is Dan. G, for the guard, as his whistle he blows. H is the hopper through which the coal goes. I is the inspector who stands at the gate. J is for the junction, here's where we wait. Junction is where tracks come together, which is why you might have to wait for another train to go by first. K is for the kitchen, with pans all aglow. Of course, dining cars have kitchens in them to cook what? Meals. L is for the lamps, which stand in a row. M is the mail which is urgent indeed. N is a night train running at speed. O is the old man who works on the line. P is for the porter. He's sturdy and fine. Sleeping cars have porters. Q is the Q for the train which is late. Q is a fun word to spell. R is for the rails, some curved and some straight. S for the signals which say stop or go. That one actually says go, but we'll train you more on that later. T is for trucks, some high and some low. U is for the umbrella left by Aunt Sally. Do you have an umbrella? V is the viaduct which crosses the valley. A viaduct is just a big bridge. W is the water tank, where the engines drink. We have a water tank here at the Colorado Railroad Museum. X is the crossing, where the red light blinks. Y is for York, a very big station. If you look on a map, York is in Great Britain, United Kingdom. Z is the zoo, which is our destination. Oh boy! So we've just covered railways 
from A to Z by reading a railway ABC. Thanks for joining. Hi friends. I'm Ronnie. I'm one of your friends at the Colorado Railroad Museum and I'm here to do a craft with you that goes with the book that was read earlier, A Railway ABC by Jack Towson. What do you think we're going to make? A lamb? That's right! Just like the one in the book. So, the things we're going to need to make our lamp is some construction paper. You can use any color you like, but I'm going to use black today. And then as you can see, we have some yellow in the middle. So this is the light for the lamp. And so we're going to use that. We're going to need a cup to make the circle, some scissors, some glue to put all together, some yarn for to hold on to it, and some tape. So now, let's get started. First thing we're going to do is we're going to get some construction paper. Look at, that's going to be a really big lantern, but we're going to make it smaller. Yeah, be careful. No cutting fingers. There. Now you have the body of your lantern. Does that kind of look like your lantern? Sure does. So this is going to be your, the body of your lantern. Okay, so we'll put it right there. Then, with the second part, we are going to fold it so like this. I know it's hard to see, I will show you. Side to side. So it looks like you have a triangle. Then we're going to cut this extra part off. You don't need that. And now, you've made a square. But this does not look like a square, does it? No, that's a, that's a triangle. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut it again. And we're going to make a triangle. Da -da -da. Here it is. So we're going to put that right there. Now, next thing we have to do is we have to make our light for our lantern. So what you need to do is get a cup, ask a mom, grandma, anybody in your family, if they have a plastic cup that you can trace. Put it on top, take your time, and go around. When you lift it up, it's a circle. Then you get to use your scissors again. And you cut, 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 cut carefully, not to cut your fingers. Be careful. If it doesn't come out perfect, that's okay. Nothing's perfect. Mm -hmm. There we go. Almost there. There. Get that out of the way. And we get to put it on our lantern body. Right there. Now we have the lantern, the light, and the top. We're going to have to glue them together. Sometimes I like to play race card. Get it all there. There we go. Put it in the middle. And this is just going back and forth. And on. Just like a hat. And that's it. Oh my gosh, guys. What do you think? Does it look kind of the same? I think so. Alright. Last part. We need to make the handle for our lantern or our lamp. So what you need to do, this is a fun little trick for measuring. Hold it with your fingers on this side, pull it all the way up to your shoulder and cut. You flip the guy, this guy over, put both the ends right there. 
and then get some tea. There, flip it over, and you have your lantern. Now, if it doesn't come out just perfect, that's okay. It's sort of something you can play with and put in your room. And that's how you make your lantern. All right, is that good? Okay. Can't wait to see you till next time. Bye, guys.